All right, hi, my lovelies. I just got off a live feed with you guys, um, with a lot of you guys. Thank you so much for all coming on, whoever did um, could make it. I know the time difference isn't always, you know, good. Um, I am getting better for all those you don't know. I've had the flu. I haven't had a very good run. I've had COVID, then I had a week of nothing, and then the, the flu. It is what it is, but I'll be okay. Recovering now, I'm back to doing the vlogs. I've missed doing them for you guys. Let's get into this heifer's one. I'm told to have a look at her feet because they look purple. So let's get into this. And then my four month OB appointment. When you don't feel like tweezing, this. It's giving like. What the F? Oh my God, what an ugly dress. Oh, her, her feet are purple. Oh my God. Unless, unless it's the lighting, guys. But they look purple to me. Oh, crap. And swollen. Oh, my God, that dress is so ugly. She has no neck. She looks as pale as hell here. And her hair looks horrible. And she's just bloated. But she is going to eat herself into bed. That's what she's going to do. She's going to eat herself into bed for her pregnancy. They're going to end up saying to her, you need, you, you have to be bedridden and not move. Spring, summer. And stop eating. That dress is freaking horrendous. It is horrendous. Oh, my God. In Greece. The only, the only zonk. Zonk? Yeah, the only zonk. <laughs> Alex, you're nuts. Listen, you're delusional is what you are. And yes, you are nuts. I have zero shame. You have zero shame in anything you do, Alexandra. You have zero shame in anything you do. When does she usually say zero shame? She never usually talks like that. Someone's been watching. Zero shame. Yeah, we know you have zero shame. We know you have zero shame because you're a heifer and you have no shame. That's why you let everything out to show because you've got no shame. In admitting this. <gasps> oh my God. so well um we will be appointment god i hate the way she whispers i just oh she's already irritating me i hope we get to see the baby today but i don't i, don't. I can't stand it it's always like she's constantly eating something and her mouth is sticky on the inside fuck that's a dry mouth it's like dry mouth i hate it it's all can you guys hear it no Okay, guys, the appointment went so well. Why are you filming from this view, Heifer? Do you think that you look better being being showing your face like this? Do you think that we can't tell that you still have five chins under me? I mean, seriously, I don't understand why you film like that. It just makes you look crazier than you even are. Um, we got to hear baby's heartbeat on the and that ugly blue nail polish Doppler his heart rate was 142 and it was so funny because he kept moving around like he's moving a lot and she's like can you feel him I'm like he's probably moving more than you do and getting more steps in than what you're doing not real not really like I don't think I can feel him yet and he's still small um but yeah like every time <laughs> she'd like get to one spot and like get the heartbeat and then he it would like go away and she's like oh he's moving and we'd like chase him around my stomach it was that's nothing new that's what they always do chase him around my stomach bimbo that's what they always do it always goes from left to right to the middle because the baby does move why are you so surprised about that so funny it was so funny but it was so cool hilarious to hear his heart beat again and just know that he's like doing okay because you know it's always just very yeah with no thanks to you he's doing okay scary um so that was beautiful i wanted to cry but she did tell me too she's like get sleep while you can because he's moving so much now when he's bigger and you can feel him like you are not gonna be able to sleep and i'm like okay oh, <laughs> he's an active little guy but I'm just again more active than you. You must take after Yaman. I'm just so happy he's doing okay. I just, I'm always looking down like, are you okay in there? Because <laughs> you can't really feel him yet. So <sighs> I have um, my 20 week scan in like three and a half weeks. That's more in depth. Like we have to go to a. Who told you to film from this angle? I just don't understand why she's filming from this angle. She looks fucking ridiculous. Different place to do like a more in depth one where they like look at the organs and stuff. So that'll be really cool. Whew, such a relief. I'm like, after every appointment, I'm like, okay, 
we're still okay. I don't know. It's absolutely petrifying. Being pregnant is petrifying. Like beautiful and amazing and exciting, but petrifying. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, you're not doing much about it to make it less petrifying, are you? You're not moving anymore, heifer, are you? You're eating exactly what you want, when you want. So you're not helping the baby along at all. Don't make out that you're worried about it when you're not doing anything to, for yourself to help the baby along and be healthy. Back home, switched to the vlog camera. <sighs> but I am just about to get ready for the day. I love making appointments first thing in the morning so you can just get them out of the way. I don't know about you guys, but like I, if I have an appointment in the afternoon, I'm just anxious the whole day. Especially if she needs mental help. Who is anxious the whole day? Who gets anxious the whole day if they're having a meeting in the afternoon? Seriously. Oh, my God. You know, going back to when she was in, doing hairdressing and stuff like that, how on earth would she have been able to cope with every person in her chair? Because every person that sits in your chair, when I was younger and I felt this, I did used to feel anxious about <clears throat> in my younger days, much younger days I'm talking about, when I first started, 15, 16, 17 years old, I didn't have the confidence I have now, right, in life, in general, and in hairdressing. Um, so I would get uncomfortable with their personalities of the people that were going to sit in my chair because I didn't know who they were going to, who I was going to expect. Now, oh, couldn't give a rat's ass. Who comes and sits in my chair? I'll get along with them and I'll, I'll adapt to whatever personality they have. Can you imagine her being a hairdresser? Can you imagine this heifer being a hairdresser not knowing which person is going to be sitting in your chair, not knowing which personality is going to, you know, talk to you? She can't handle having an appointment in the afternoon because she gets anxious. Oh, my God, she's sick in the head. I'm going to go check on the baby. So I never unpacked my makeup from our weekend trip last week. Let me know if you also like this. I will not unpack it until I'm, like, doing my makeup again, and then I just use what's in there and then put it away. And that's how it is when I pack, too. Like, I'll do my makeup... No, I unpack everything straight away because I'm not a lazy heifer like you. And each step, put it in the bag so I know I'm not missing anything. I have some stuff that I need to do around the house, but I also need to go do a return to Old Navy. Of course you do. Another return. She is unbelievable. My God. Those people at the post office must really be annoyed with her. You know what I think she does? I think she goes to the same post office. I reckon she must do the rounds because she'd be too embarrassed. Being the way she is... I think she'd be too anxious to always go into the same one and constantly give returns back at the same one because she knows they're going to think she's a pain in the butt. Last night, I wasn't vlogging yesterday, but last night after dinner, Yara and I got the urge to just like go out for a little bit. Um, so we were at this outdoor mall. I also just washed my sponge. It's stained, but it's clean. Oh, also, I forgot to say in the live chat, guys, I was reading a comment of hers. I think it was underneath um, that Instagram post that she did where she was... Um, rubbing that table, scrubbing the table, and she did that. You know, she was holding her non-existent bump. Someone wrote to her underneath. I saw you at the festival this week, but I was too nervous to come up to you, or something like that. And I'm like, what? that's not the first one I've heard of people saying that that they're too nervous to go up to her. Is she going to ask herself why these people are too nervous to go up to her because she's a nasty heifer and she probably like turn them away or say to them I don't want to be filmed or this or that I don't know I don't know I just think that she's um I, I just think that it's horrible to be told I was scared to come up to you that that would be a horrible thing I'd be thinking like what is wrong with me if someone is too scared to come up to me so I've been wanting to go into Old Navy I want to get like a new zip up sweatshirt here comes the cement face because the one I wear now, I wear it all the time. And it's from Old Navy. It's like this gray cropped zip up. And I wish I could get another. You don't need cropped. You, your body's too big for cropped. Enough with the cropped. One. It's kind of shrunk in the wash where like the sleeves come really short. But like I like that it's like a cropped oversized fit. But it's. Oh, spare me. You like everything cropped and you, you think everything's oversized. Got like scrunching at the bottom. So it kind of gives a little bit of shape. I just love it so much. I really need to find another zip up sweatshirt that's not full length. Because for the spring. You really need to find a foundation that is your colour. You are hopeless with match um, with uh, matching your skin colour to your neck. It's really bad. Most days I just wear like an athletic tank and then I want to throw that. Yeah, we know. You wear an athletic tank most days because that's all you ever wear because you're a lazy heifer. You're a lazy heifer. Only athletic people should be wearing every day you certainly ain't athletic you're just lazy and that's why you put that top on because you don't have to put a bra on or anything you just put that on and that's it
not over it. Okay, why does this look really... And it makes you look like the size of a tank as well, just in case you were wondering. Light. I guess I'm still a little tan from Florida. I'm gonna put a... There we go. That's better. <laughs> So yeah, I've been wearing it like every day, washing it every couple days because I just wear it so much. So I was so excited to like pop into Old Navy. They always have like a good kind of graphic zip up hoodie and they didn't have any. I did end up grabbing a few dresses because I just know the summer with the bump, I'm just going to want to wear like comfy flow. We are waiting to see this bump, Alexandra. You look ridiculous and people are making fun of you and the ones that are telling you they can see it, they really can't because they just want to suck up your arm. You don't have a bump, you have fat. And that's what you're touching. You, you don't have a baby bump yet. You're, you're still in delusional land. There is no bump there at all. You could have done this six months ago, seven months ago, and you would still look the same because you're touching just your belly fat. That's what it is. Chloe dresses all summer, which actually sounds like a dream. So I found a few. No, you won't be wearing dresses all summer. You're going to be wearing your tank tops that you always wear. You're such a liar. You buy these clothes and you never wear them. If you, if you do wear them this time, it's not going to be so you can show off and say that you're pregnant and you're wearing maternity clothes. I know you. I read you like a book, Heifer. But I didn't try them on in store, um, but one of them I just don't. Oh my God, look at the, her hump and her shoulders. Um, she's getting as big to, as big as she was. She's. I'm telling you guys now, she's going to eat herself into the bed with this pregnancy. I don't want to keep. It's just a little a little too tight, and I'm like, mm, I'm just going to be getting bigger. So I'm going to go back over to that. Out yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You are just going to be getting bigger. And I'm not even talking when you're pregnant. You were already going to get bigger without even being pregnant. I'm all and return it. And then I'm also going to pop into Lululemon because... I am so intrigued by the scuba zip ups, but like they're like $100 and they have a size XL slash XXL in store. I was shocked it's in store, God bless. And they have this really pretty green color at the location that I- Yeah, she's a nasty bitch, isn't she? God bless. God bless. Because they have it in store. She's being sarcastic to them. God bless. I was looking into, but I definitely- And then my four month OB appointment when you don't- Sorry guys, I really don't know what I touched. I feel like- be on the Doppler. His heart rate was 142. I'm just going to throw on a YouTube video and finish my makeup. I don't know why I'm doing a full situation right now. I haven't worn like full makeup in a few days and I'm just, I'm just craving it. So if you know, you know. Let me fast forward past this crap. Oh my God, I can't handle her hair. Okay, so I just when I up minus I'm my. So I got these new little new little babies from. Don't do the English accent. You don't do it right. Her hair, it's just killing me. Can you guys see how there's more blonde there than there is here? Oh, so annoying. Cleo, I really love Cleo. I used their highlighter today, and like, oh, look at that. So pretty. It's their prism. It's nothing spectacular. She's gonna use those lip glosses now that are specific supposedly have color in them that doesn't look like there's any color in them highlighter in gold sheer i've been wearing it like all the time so here are the lip products i first of all i'm in love with um these containers here they're just like acrylic and so pretty you don't have to tap your nails must you copy everybody must you copy everybody do you not have a brain of your own you that's stupid there's no authenticity about her at all nothing at all nothing nothing She's so freaking plastic. We've got the colors Gentle Cinnamon, and all their stuff's very neutral too. It's um, Korean Cosmetics. Daily Mauve, Vintage Apple, and Blushed Peach. I think I'm going to do... Hmm. Oh, they all look really pretty. We're going to go ahead and try the peach. We're going to try Blushed Peach, because that just sounds like so neutral and pretty. I've been trying to embrace my natural lip shape without lip liner, so we're just going to go for it here. Here's what it looks like. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that is so... Oh, it's so pretty. Actually, guys, the formula of this feels very similar to these Rare Beauty lips. Like, very, 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 very similar. All right. So nice on the lip. But when I tell you, these feel like... <laughs> oh, you can actually see that color. The other one she tried of them the other day, you couldn't see that it had any color at all. Identical in texture. So if they give a little bit, a little bit of a stain like the Rare Beauty, then I would definitely call this a dope. See, here's my problem. Now I just want to like mix them. <laughs> I want to put the Daily Mauve on top and it's like a little more nudie. Oh yes, there we go. Cute. Really nice pigment. Okay. So we'll see how these wear, but they're from Amazon. I will link them. So we're ready for the day. All right, let's go ahead and do our return and potentially 
see what the Lululemon scuba is all about. I had bought a dupe on TikTok and I didn't, I didn't love it. It was very, it's good. I don't think it's giving the real thing. So people rave about it. We'll see if it's overhyped or not. Okay guys, I'm filming a little uh, Instagram reel with the- The hell is she wearing? She looks like she's got one of those gowns on from the hospital. Old navy dresses, just for shits and giggles. No, that's horrible. Looks like the gown from the hospital. So I want to show you guys them in the vlog too, if you didn't see the reel, but this is the first dress. Why are you standing like that with your hands out? Are you about to fly somewhere? Freaking annoying heifer. And I hate her hair parted on the side. I can't stand it. I love this one. Definitely keeping this one. It's got like just a perfect flow, especially with bump for the sun. Oh, get stuffed. You don't have a bump. You have fat, you stupid heifer. Fat. Do you hear me? You have fat. It's not a bum. You are delusional. It's not a bum. Far out. Summer. It's how is she going to be? It's like a gauzy linen fabric. I am about 5'8". What is a gauzy linen fabric? Gauzy linen. There is no such thing as gauzy linen. Comes right above my knee. It does have a little slit here. It's double layered, which is nice. So it's not like... Knee? What knee? Excuse me, did you say knee? You don't have a knee, heifer. See through, and I feel like it flows out kind of nice with the pockets, so it gives you like a little bit of shape even. Look at the way she's standing. Looks like she's got one leg. She thinks by standing like that, that somehow she looks slimmer. No, it's baggy. And then it's kind of like loose. I don't know, it's really cute. I love this little, um... It's kind of like bloody ugly. Like ruffled neckline here and they also had it in like a light blue and like a royal blue which i loved and patterns i'll link these three dresses it's so easy breezy you could wear like sneakers or dress it up with like nice sandals oh for the love of god it is so damn ugly so ugly it's definitely keeping this one too oh this my has god such a mom oh my god in heaven that is bad 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 i can't even say where you would buy that from that is just Ugly and old-fashioned looking. Now, I give you guys 100% of my honesty. Honest to God, 100% of my honesty. If I liked it, sometimes she wears stuff and I say I like it. Very rare, but sometimes. This is just ugly. This is just ugly. I can't see anyone her age or even my age. I'm sorry, I'm 50 and I wouldn't wear that. That is just so ugly. Energy to me. It comes right to mid chin ish. It's like a perfect midi dress. I love the pattern. It's giving like spring, summer in Greece. No, it's not. It's not giving spring, summer in Greece. You delusional, delusional heifer. Greece. Again, bump friendly because right here is all smocked <clears throat> and then just like a V. You don't have a bump. There's no bump. That's just fat, Alexandra. It's still just fat, love neckline here more pockets i can always count on old navy to give me a good pocket dress and then in the back it has a tie i got all of these in the xxl love this one keeping this one too let me show you the one i think i'm gonna return today okay so it's like linen and it does see i don't mind that color and i like that dress the other one was horrendous is this the one she's gonna return when she should be returning the other one it's had a little bit of smocking in the back but it's like oh it just feels oh it's too tight on her a little bit tight if i wasn't pregnant i think i would keep it but like i just don't think it's going to be bump friendly just because it's not stretchy or like super loose but this yeah and you won't fit into it even after you get pregnant and you have the baby you still won't fit into it you'll be the size of a hair fast still it's like sweetheart neckline is just stunning actually i could probably just order a size up online because they only had up to the xxl in store stop touching your stomach there is no bump there, you delusional woman. People are laughing at you. Do you understand that? People are laughing at you, Miss Piggy. The color is so pretty. This like lime green. I love the mini length. So yeah, I just just feel that's not a lime green. That's not a lime green. Are you also colorblind? That's a yellow. It's a pale lemon. <laughs> A little too tight. But the other two are going to be so great and bump friendly for summer. All right, guys, here is the fit check. Also, look at how pretty we changed the TV background. I'll get a better close-up for you, but it's like cherry blossoms. It's so pretty for spring. Here is the fit check. I ordered these on Target's website. Oh, come on. You're going to do a fit check. You put the proper shoes on. She's wearing slippers. Come on. Seriously. I don't see any baby. Are you guys seeing anything? I'm not. So I got the 2X and they are way too big, but I didn't feel like returning them and they do have a drawstring, but I think the 1X would have been better. So if you get these, 
You'll probably go down a size, but they're so cute. I love green right now and they're just like super comfy. They're like wide leg cargo sweat. I don't think they're big on her. They're wide leg, just like she said. They're not big because if they were big on her, they'd be big around here and they're not. They're big here because that's just the look of her and it's not eating her fupa. And if it's not going right into her vagina, she doesn't want to, um, she doesn't want a bar of them. She likes them going up in there. I'll link these two. I think they're so comfy, so cute. Great for spring. And then this is a Skims top. And I'm still in love with my Amazon slippers. These are wide foot friendly. Perfect for spring. They have memory foam. They're so comfy. They're like waffle. I can literally see like Skims selling something like that for like $50. <laughs> Even though I love my Skims. But I love wearing these around the house so I don't slip and it keeps my feet like warm but not hot. So I'll link those again too. So yeah, yours gonna come with. And I think we're gonna grab Sweet Green for lunch. See how pretty it is? I hope it shows on camera. And then I turned these pillows around because the orange was bothering me, even though there is some orange in here. It is pretty. That's a very pretty picture. I hate to say it. Uh, she's just stuffing it up with that vase there. That that has to go. I don't mind them. But that has to go. That is so ugly. It just looks like her body. But yeah, that's the new background. Okay, first stop, Old Navy return, and then we're going to do a quick Lululemon check. And then sweet green. That is true. I'm wearing the Kirkland Costco hoodie. Oh my god. For the freaking price. <laughs> it's the best hoodie I've ever worn in my life. It's amazing. Guys, it was like 15 uh, bucks. It feels it literally feels like Lululemon. <laughs> Honestly. Back wall. It's just nice and thick. It's thick and so <laughs> he's looking at a lot. Nah, it's not. And the stitching and the ribbing, like everything is just the only the only zonk, right? Zonk? <laughs> yeah, the only zonk <laughs> is that I don't like that it's fully zippered. Oh, what do you I want? Like, like just, a yeah, just a regular pullover? hoodie with the um you know what I'm talking about? Oh, pockets, yeah. Pockets yeah. that is just like one big They didn't have there. any. No, they didn't have any. Mm. All right, the ultimate oh, question. Is your going to get anything a little? <laughs> I know you will. I am obsessed with spring trees right now. Proof and hours. All right. You're obsessed with a lot of things. I'm hoping, it said they had it on the app. But they have a really pretty green colored one. Thank you. It is in fact not oversized. Um, it probably is oversized for the normal body, but because you're refrigerator size, they don't they don't fit refrigerators. No, no, maybe go into a Lowe's for that. Secured the salads. Secured, secured. Buana. Okay, I have such a beef with the Lulu. De Lulu. I'm really glad I tried. Your De Lulu. That's what. Well, that's who's De Lulu. You are De Lulu on in the store clearly it was a normal xxl for normal people not for refrigerator size people do you understand because i feel like if i had ordered it online and got it in i would have been so disappointed um yeah the xl slash xxl it fit like a normal sweatshirt and it's supposed to be oversized so oversized for normal people oversized for normal people it's not plus size it's not an xxl in plus size that's different you should know by that by now heifer sick love that um but also don't <laughs> i'm also salty that they don't have the full range of up to 20 in store when they have up to 20 online and the store only goes up to 14 um which is just that is their prerogative to have that that is their prerogative if they don't want to keep it in stock in the store because they find it doesn't sell as much and it's just going to take up room when they the room for other sizes get over it find a first world problem Find a real problem, Alexandra. Instead of crying about the Lululemon not being extra, extra large, not being really oversized, not stocking this the size you need in store. Seriously, turn the television on and see what's going on around the world. Find a real problem and be grateful, Heifer. You have 50 million tops and jackets at home. You don't need this one. You just want it because you're greedy. Just like it's just so dumb it's just so dumb no you are dumb that's who's dumb you are all the people who have extended online like can you please just put it in store i just want to shop in store for men right yeah like i have this issue too where you know i have i look for a large because that's my usual size yeah however i have to make sure that i look at the fit because oh. if it's a slim fit or a classic fit or a relaxed fit I yeah that's normal that's normal my husband has to do the same he can't fit into a slim fit top a shirt it just won't fit him he gets it needs to get a large but he won't get a because he's very he's broad my husband he's not going to go getting a um a slim fit it's not going to fit it's called common sense yaman i only fit in a large that's a relaxed fit yeah so 
it sucks because like it's in like small little fine print it's not like <laughs> big and known right like when you go to the store like there's not like big signs that say this is the relaxed fit section <laughs> this is the classic fit yeah, section. it doesn't matter i think you have eyeballs to realize that yourself just look at the item like my husband does and he can tell whether it's going to fit him or not Yo, and then you'll buy it you'll, you know, you'll get home like, and be like what shoot, the heck why? right so yeah i agree like so like was your sizing like yeah, I and mean, why is that moustache coming back? You knew no one liked it. Why are you regrowing it? It's horrible. It does not suit you. It doesn't suit you at all. It does it say whether it's... It does you no favours, love. Classic fit or slim fit or... Um, I mean, I didn't know. All I knew was that online I had looked at it and it said it had like an oversized fit, so... <laughs> yeah, for me... I will say it again. Oversized for normal people. Oh my God, look at that hair right there. That's disgusting. Look at the view that she gives her viewers, would you? Just look at this view. Usually I go a size up. For um, slim? If it, no, I, I never go slim. I, I hate tight clothing. Oh, he's boring me. American sizes, nice and big. Yeah. I, I can get away with a large. Yeah, good old, yeah. good old knaves. So yeah, I'm just, I'm very salty. So I was looking on their site to see if they had any. Suck it up. Suck it up, Hiffa. Like zip ups in, a, in like a 20. Like that was, so I would get that oversized fit. But they only have like the defined ones that are like. She wants the 20 guys for the oversized fit. She doesn't want a 20 because that's actually her size. Then again, she's being generous to herself because she's a 22 to 24, if you ask me. She wants a 20 because it's going to be oversized. Yeah. Okay. Every day. Tight, and I just don't, I don't want that with, with the bump right now. So, um, you have no bump right now. You have no bump. You have fat. The hunt continues. None at Old Navy. I'm shocked. Old Navy's like the spot for a good graphic hoodie. So, maybe I'll check Boohoo. She wants a graphic hoodie. We all saw her um, wardrobe when she was cleaning it out. Did you see how many hoodies she had? How many t-shirts she had? And this heifer still can't get enough. Once she gets something in her mind, that's it. She becomes obsessed and she has to get it. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Oh, I'll tell you. I've said it before and I've said it again that that looks like vomit and that looks disgusting and I wouldn't eat that. Sorry. I know it's kale. I know it's meant to be really healthy. It just... You know when you look at something and you can actually taste it? Yeah, that's what happens when I look at that. It's so off. The harvest bowl is life. <laughs> dun dun. Many hours later. Okay, guys, so small update. I do think I got a little bit of a stainage from the lip. I just threw on some chapstick, but I still feel like I have some color to it. But it is now 4.30, and I was just doing some editing on the computer. We're actually going to head over to my mom's when she finishes work around 6, and Yara's going to install her bidet that you got. Oh my god. Do you guys notice there is a reference to poop no matter which video she does? There is a reference to poop. All Look at the way she's laughing because she knows she's going to be judged for saying this. She's uncomfortable, so she's doing that stupid, annoying giggle. <laughs> for her birthday because Yara and I are upset. For her birthday? You get your mum a bidet for her birthday? Asked with the bidet. <laughs> I don't know why it's funny. Like, I don't know why it's funny. I don't know. But she was fascinated and she wanted one. So she got him one and... It's not funny. It's not funny. You're an idiot. We're going to go over there and he's going to install that and I'm going to cut her hair. Uh, her hair has been growing. So you are responsible for that ugly, ugly monstrosity of a hairstyle. That, and I use that term very loosely, hairstyle on your mum. It's disgusting. Cut it short and give her the pixie cutting. So quick. She wants me to just kind of like even out the bob. So yeah, I'll bring you guys along for that. But first, let's let's do the little TikTok. Oh, you annoying mole. Uh, her hair has been growing so quick. She wants me to just kind of like... We all know that's on purpose. Even out the bob. So yeah, I'll bring you guys along for that. But first, let's, let's do the little TikTok. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously. Oh, yeah. I can't take you seriously either. Don't worry, not many do take you seriously, Heifer. Yes, this is so good. Yeah. Mm, this is 100% my favorite flavor of poppy. And I like low-key love that they only come in the big ones. So I have, to, <laughs> I have some packages to open. Where did I put the box? And what, are you worried that it comes in the big one? Because you're not going to finish all that? Heifer. And I'm going to open the funniest one first. What the hell's going on here? My God, that looked even more dead if possible than i did earlier in the other earlier videos i'm not even gonna make you wait i open the door to this it's huge but it's light alex you're nuts listen i have zero shame 
zero shame in admitting this. So we had decided that we were gonna do our um, baby shower theme, like bear themed, like we can barely wait. It's what I've always wanted in the back of my head. Like I've always just had that and he was cool with it. No, you never had that in the back of your head. You just realized you wanted that when you saw that a couple of weeks ago in one of your vlogs. It said barely. It, she was looking up invitations, I think. We can barely wait. It was in the invitations. That's where she saw it from. So it hasn't, she didn't come up with this idea. It was already there. She just rolled with it. That whatever. So that's what we're doing. And you guys are probably like, Alex, you're like 17 weeks. I'm going to be 17 weeks when this vlog goes up. But alas, <laughs> we're having our baby shower. Um, I think I'll be like 26 weeks ish um, because we had to book the venue because June was filling up. Can you, are you guys just noticing the, her Peter Griffin chin? It's, she is all neck. She's all neck and face. Sorry, not all neck and face. She doesn't have a neck. She's all face on shoulders. All face on shoulders. If you've been following the vlogs, it's been filling up like crazy. Um, so we finally found one, locked it down. Great. We are doing a co-ed baby shower. It's going to be like a big, a big party. It's going to be nice. When we were kind of, <laughs> kind of looking at venues and stuff, I started kind of like seeing what would go on a registry. Then all of a sudden I'm looking at decor because I'm like, I'm going to do the decor myself. I'm going to start planning this now. N really taking a step back and I'm like, Alex, this is like, <laughs> it's like two months away. So I thought this was going to take like a month to come in. This came in so fast, but I was looking at stuff on Etsy. I was looking at how much it was to hire like a party planner, decoration person. And I'm like, I can do this myself. <laughs> so I like, she is such a control freak. Of course she wants to do it herself. She's such a control freak. And she will not make it look as nice as those party plan people because that's their, that's what they do. That's their job. Went on Canva and I created my own poster from one of the templates. And then I uploaded it on this poster board website. This is actually psychotic. I, I'm psychotic. Yeah, we know that. I could have told you that, Alexandra. You are psychotic. You are. And I'm not saying this jokingly. You literally are psychotic. But I'm also choosing to own it because I'm excited about my first baby. <laughs> and for anyone who's wondering the timeline of our baby shower, um, we have friends coming in from out of state with specific jobs and weekends they can do. And then we also have something in July that messed up with just the schedules are very hard. So doing it at the end of June was the best plan for us and the people that we wanted like to really have there. But I, I feel pretty comfortable doing it anywhere after six months. I do know people who have done it also around six months. I know some people who do it a lot later at like eight months, um, but it's a personal choice and that's just what we're doing. But I, I've seen some questions about that. So just to clear it up. I'm also excited too, cause it's still not gonna be like summer yet. It's not gonna be too hot. And then we can like use the items we receive um, from our baby shower to, you know, go into the nesting mode of those last couple months. So I think it's gonna be a, a good plan. All right, I really hope, <laughs> I hope this came out good. I uploaded it. Nesting mode, nesting mode. Oh, she just makes me wanna buff. In like the highest quality. And it was like really affordable. This is just like the sign for the baby shower. Oh, oh my God. Shut up, it's so cute. This looks so professional. Guys, this this looks so legit. It is professional because you copied the front off a card. Uh, oh, no, off, it wasn't a card. She copied it off an invitation. And it's not rocket science. It's not rocket science, Alexandra. It really isn't. Don't think you've done anything very spectacular here because you can copy anything, put it to one of those places, and they'll put it on cardboard for you. Why are you so fascinated with it? Nothing spectacular. I mean, it's cute, but what I'm saying is I don't understand why she's so shocked that it came out professional because professionals did it. Oh, thank God. Isn't that so cute? Are you going to die? I, I, no, I'm not, thankfully. I just kept it, like, really simple. Welcome to our baby shower. Okay, I, I am not seeing... She keeps putting her hand here, saying that she's her bump is there. Isn't the baby bump around here? This to me is just all bloating and her fat. There's no bump there. You're still freaking delusional. This cute little bear in the balloons. Oh my God. My God. Who would have thought she ever had bariatric surgery? Look at the, the bra eating into her fat there. Oh, sorry. 
Okay, wow, I'm so impressed. So yeah, I'm just gonna like, cause if you guys didn't see, if you're new here, I had a backyard wedding with my hubby. We did it like still kind of during the pandemic. We, yeah, we, we eloped alone. And then a year later we had a backyard wedding. Um, yeah, with your PD if fall father. Um, and I did all the decorations myself. Everything was from Etsy, handmade. It was a labor of love and I loved how everything came out. So I'm like, if I could do my own wedding, I could do a baby shower. So I'm just gonna get an easel. I'm so mad. I don't have the easel from our wedding anymore. I don't know if it broke or if I got rid of it in the move or donated it, I don't know. But I'm just gonna get an easel on Amazon and save it <laughs> and put this on. And then I have a plan for my display. I'm not going full balloon arch, but there will be balloons. I'm thinking of this little teddy bear. She's so out of breath. There where he's like holding a bouquet of balloons, it looks like. I have a vision. So do I have this two months early? Yes. But I know I'm not gonna change my mind about the theme. And uh, it's such a cute keepsake. I love it. <laughs> this makes me wanna cry. I feel a cute keepsake. Seriously, she's gonna end up with so much shit. She's gonna end up throwing that out. Oh my God, keepsake. I'm so emotional. I swear, you guys, the second trimester hormones are hitting. Okay, but I do like the packaging of this. I'm going to keep this nice and secure. The next thing I open is, is too perfect. No, like you guys are going to friggin' crack up. So I ordered this on Amazon and it wasn't on Prime. It was a little longer to ship, but I have been obsessed with baseball hats. I feel like I never vlog when I'm wearing them, but the days I don't... Okay, here it comes, guys. You, you told me in my recent, um, uh, what do you call it, live chat just before that she got more hats. So here it is, I think. Vlog, I'm always wearing baseball hats. So <laughs> this one is so perfect for this vlog for just so many reasons. <laughs> Look, it says Lululemon. <laughs> so this is funny for many reasons. I didn't even know it was coming today. Um, but the fact that it is so ugly. So, so ugly. But you are delusional. So put it on. Lululemon is a little Delulu because they don't have full sizes in store. And I am Delulu. For ordering baby shower stuff two months in advance. <laughs> hey babe. Yes? Are you vlogging? Yes. Oh, I thought you were crying. Oh, you thought I was crying? No, I'm laughing hysterically. Okay. But I, I love that you care enough to ask. Come, can you come here? <laughs> you have a oh, please. I'm gonna vomit. A moment. This is a little... <laughs> so, I thought this was gonna take a while to come in. I understand it's a little early. <laughs> but look what I made! <laughs> it's actually really nice. Isn't that amazing? This was like $30. Because I made it on Canva, exported it in the highest quality, and then I just had it printed on styrofoam. That's my girl. <laughs> it looks so professional. This that would be... Really That's my girl. Oh, my God. Oh, yaman. I just don't get it, and I never will love. Never will. A lot more elsewhere. <laughs> oh, my. I'm a party planner. What? I should plan parties. <laughs> I could plan a party. You're great. You're great. Like, plan everything. <laughs> like, you. wow, I really like that. Can I touch it? Yeah, isn't that awesome? I'm so impressed with the quality. Like, it's not grainy. I was kind of nervous it'd be grainy. It's like perfect. And look at our little boy. Oh, we've got two months ahead, but that's all right. It's okay to get excited about things, people. You don't have to be all weird. And then look at this hat I got. Delulu lemon. He's looking at her like your delusion. Look at the way he's looking at her. And he's right. She is delusional. Who would wear, who would walk around wearing that hat? Would you guys wear the hat like that? I mean, I wouldn't wear a hat like that at all, especially the one with the netting there, trucker hat. But if put that on it, why would you wear that? You're living your best life. <laughs> I am living my best life. Isn't that funny? Yeah. No. Delulu no. Lemon. That's me. I'm yeah. Delulu. I still don't know what exactly. You are Delulu, yeah. Exactly what that means. Delulu is delusional. Mm. Okay. That's exactly what you are. You couldn't have said a word more fitting for you. Come on, fade away. All right. I don't know what this is. It's heavy. I've been drinking. That's always been stuck in my head for, I think, like three weeks. Okay. What's in this box? Oh, it's pink. Oh, what is this? MCO Beauty, Australia's number one beauty brand. And it's now available at all these stores, which I don't have near me. <laughs> I think I'm a little delirious. Oh, it's upside down. That's why. What is this? MCO Beauty. Have a look when she says Australia. Have a look at her eyes and her cringy. Face. Australia's number one beauty brand and it's now available at all these it certainly is not Australia's number one beauty brand that's for bloody sure no no it's not Australia's beauty brand as I said in my live chat um, earlier for whoever wasn't there this is for people who didn't know it's a brand that is sold in Woolworths 
so it's pretty much like if you guys go to Walmart or you do your supermarket shopping and it's just in the makeup aisle yeah it's one of those brands it's not anything spectacular and in, in fact it's probably bottom of the range and I don't think anyone would buy that unless you're a little kid uh, not when I say little kid like a young young teenager who can't really afford much more or probably an older lady that really doesn't know any better it's not a really good brand at all stores which I don't have near me <laughs> I think I'm a little delirious oh it's upside down that's why okay I'm definitely a little delirious I woke up at 3 a.m. took me a while to fall back asleep oh it went everywhere okay wait I'm really excited to try all this oh it's giving Charlotte Tilbury dupes no 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 far from Charlotte Tilbury far from Charlotte Tilbury oh my god no this looks a lot of it is the same these like highlighter wands the bronzy drops oh yeah this looks oh yeah and then this oh my gosh this looks like drunk elephant this looks like glossier they've got dupes this is fun oh my god and then this one looks like drunk elephant wait okay it's available at kroger fred meyer ralph's i know a lot of people have ralph's near them we don't have one fries smith's and then affiliated stores i can't wait to try this a contour stick like it looks so good and it's like super more affordable yeah, because it's cheap and nasty. That's why it's affordable. And, oh wait, these got a little messed up. I want to put them in their correct spots. And like the Dior lip oil dupe. No, I want to like do an entire face with this. And I mean, they do have a website, mcobeauty.com. So I'm going to try it all. <laughs> That's actually really fun. Thank you for sending me this. You guys, I am so upset. Yeah, she looks really appreciative, appreciative of it. I am editing this vlog. I was... <laughs> I was so tired, and between that and pregnancy brain, <laughs> last night was trash night. I accidentally threw the whole box away. I'm no, like I'm so upset. I was genuinely so excited to try. <sighs> Why I'm not surprised is because someone already told me in the live chat that she threw it away by accident. Um, whether it's by accident or not, I don't really know. I really don't know. It was by accident. I'm so sad. I'm gonna have to buy it because I just feel horrible. Oh my god. I don't know why like I just I was I was putting boxes in the recycling and I oh my god oh my god oh my oh my god oh my god oh my god Frenchie I just bought my mom that Frenchie spray oh my god Ashley I'm so happy like I'm so happy I've been wanting to buy all of this thank you so much oh my gosh okay we've got a soothing body serum stick with magnesium Soothing comfort, cashmere vanilla. Smells like cozy vanilla, toasted jasmine rice, and sand. Boring, 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 boring. Unboxing. Oh, wait, we have, we have one more thing. A new Miranda Fry item. You guys know I love them. <gasps> Hold up. These are so freaking beautiful. Wendy Huggies in gold. Look at these Huggies. They're, they're it's like pearl gem, pearl gem. <gasps> oh, my God. Get a good, can you guys? Oh, my God. They're horrendous. They are horrendous. If you know me, you know that I hate pearls. Anything with a pearl in it. I hate pearls. That, and they are disgusting. They are really ugly. Like, see how it's rotating pearl and then stone. Yeah, oh, I can see. And it's still not sweetening the deal. They're ugly. OMG, these are stunning. Oh I want to put them. God, she is so easily. Because she doesn't know what quality is. She's so very easily um, made happy. And now, and then pretty much you guys know. You guys, you guys know the Miranda Fry drill. I don't take this off fashion jackson bracelet then i've been wearing the moonstone uh zodiac charm my discount code for their site is fearless you can get a discount free shipping no thank you i love their jewelry at like such good quality and they have so many good size inclusive options oh these are so pretty no they're way too small for your big elephant head way too small and sometimes it's nice to just live in a huggy, you know what I mean? For like a few days where you just like don't put in real earrings, you just leave these in. And I have very sensitive ears, so I love that I can leave these in. All right, good thing it's recycling day tomorrow because we've got a lot of boxes here, but all right, I will see you guys over at my mom's. A few moments later. Are you happy to be at grandma's? Oh, so happy. oh I love that cha-cha. Happy, the cushy. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at the little cardigan. Oh my God. Okay, mom needs to stop losing weight now. Now she's starting to look too, too skinny. Her face makes her look so much older. But daytime! Tush, tush, tush. Okay. Okay, so here it is. I'm showing my mom how to work it. So, 
So there's the little spout back there. There's my spout. This toilet is from an old building and is stained, not dirty. Don't come for my mum, okay? Oh, okay. So here's the aimer right here. Oh, Jesus. When, but I'm, I, I personally think all the way back is the best, but you can move it forward. But I have it all the way back. Wait, so and where does the water come out? This. What's pointing down? Uh, the hole will open. When it shouldn't I be pointed at my butthole? A hole will come out right here. Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna say this. You turn this knob to turn it on. Don't go hard. Do a tiny bit. This is very powerful. <laughs> you don't need a lot. It's amazing. Oh, that laugh. That laugh. <laughs> I kind of want you to try it. <laughs> wow. Nancy, you are looking old, love. You are looking old. And I can tell you now, if you cut your hair the way you had it at your daughter's wedding and dyed it that color, maybe a little bit lighter or blonde left it blonde and a pixie cut you would look 10 years younger this haircut is just making you look like an old lady in the camera can okay. i do the privacy <laughs> i don't know all right you guys we're back home and guess what time it is it's fruit time fruit time we've got strawberries raspberries and blueberries the whole trifecta you're doing his eye drops i'm obsessed i'm obsessed i want to love fruit this much for the rest of my life um so my mom is obsessed with the bidet we got it on amazon for our house and for hers I'll she's a head with a body there's no neck a head with a body length of the day it was life-changing you can install it yourself at home nothing fancy it just attaches to the toilet she tested it <laughs> she loved it not with a bathroom visit but she just wanted to see anyway she loved it <laughs> i'm very excited for her for her new journey <laughs> so uh, it's eight o'clock we are going to... Oh, don't eat on camera. People have told you so many times. We hate seeing you eat on camera. You do it on purpose? Watch our show. <laughs> we love money heist. And her scissors were so dull, it like just bent her hair <laughs> when I tried to cut it. So we didn't cut her hair. So I'm going to go back another day and cut it. So You don't have a pair of scissors for yourself, you stupid heifer. You don't have a pair of scissors that you could take taken over to your mum's. You're using your mum's kitchen scissors. Who the hell does that? Stand, stand by for that but all right that's the end of this vlog hopefully you guys enjoy. thank god i've had enough of it all right guys that was it for this one i'm gonna do another vlog uh, after it might be the docker doesn't win i think and i'll see you in the next leave me your comments below thank you so much my friends love to you all